Our next guest is a talented comedian based out of Portland. You can find him online at Eric Comedy. That's E R I K Comedy.com. Please welcome Eric Gunderson. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate it. Hey, has this ever happened to you before? Have you ever been driving along, flipping through different radio stations? And you come across this really sweet song you've never heard before, so you start jamming out to it. You're like, Bennett, chicka, Bennett, chicka, 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 Bennett, chicka, Bennett. Jesus, we praise you. <laughs> <laughs> Trick me again, Jesus Radio Station. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus seems like a pretty cool guy, but how does he make rock and roll suck so bad? <laughs> <sighs> Thank you. Trust me, they are losing it at home right now watching this, so. Anyway, I was pumping my gas today and this minivan pulled up next to me and had a bumper sticker on. And the bumper sticker read, I had somebody who's epileptic. And the lady got out and I was like, oh, that's really sweet. One of my best friends is ap actually ep epileptic, excuse me. And she says to me, oh, that's sweet. Our family dog is epileptic. Which at first I thought was really weird, but then I thought it was nice. And I got a dog too and I want everybody to know I love her, but she's not epileptic. So I figured I'll just make a bumper sticker that says, I heart somebody who eats their own poop. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. That one's fun for the whole family. <laughs> this, this is fun though, this is nice performing, having a very respectful, educated audience. We always don't have that luxury as comedians every once in a while. We get what we call hecklers in the business. For example, I did a show last weekend down in Portland. I had this awful heckler, this drunk lady, would not stop talking or yelling through my entire set. And she actually crossed the line. I have this joke about my penis, so I'm not gonna tell it tonight. <laughs> but the punchline to the joke is it's huge, and I swear to you, this lady stands up and goes, no it's not, you liar! <laughs> <laughs> so now I just don't invite my mom to my shows. <laughs> So I'm 28 and single, and the older I'm getting, I'm starting to lose touch with the ladies. I was out drinking the other night in downtown Portland. There's this beautiful girl at the end of the bar, so I went up to talk to her, but she wouldn't give me the time of day. So I'm upset about it. I went home, told my roommate, and he said, Eric, you're not that good looking anymore. You need to lower your standards. <laughs> so I had sex with his girlfriend. <laughs> He doesn't like that joke so much. <laughs> but anyway, so I have a lot of older girlfriends, girls that are just friends, and they call me for relationship advice for whatever reason. And I got a call the other week from one of my best friends. She goes, Eric, I got a small problem. I'm dating this guy, I really like him, but every time I say something to him, every time I try to talk to him, he says the same thing. He says, go make me a sandwich. Go make me a sandwich. He's just joking, but I need a witty comeback. Eric, you're a comedian, what should I come back with? And I said, have you tried coming back with a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> so um, I finally quit smoking this year. That should help me out with the ladies. Thank you. And it was really tough. I had tried everything, the patch, the gum. Apparently that stuff wasn't designed for crack. <laughs> but I did, I uh, got a quit coach from the main tobacco helpline and she liked to use numbers to help me out. She said, Eric, how many packs do you smoke in a week? I said, about three. She goes, at $8 a pack for 52 weeks, that's almost $1,000. Do you know what you can buy with $1,000? I was like, yeah, a year's worth of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Not tricking me, devil lady. <laughs> and I'll leave you with this. I'll leave you with this. Um, it's weird getting older because a lot of my friends are starting to get married and have kids. And like I said, I was down in Portland last weekend. And uh, he just had a baby, and I got to meet the little guy for the first time, and I got to hold him. And I am telling you, even to a single 28-year-old man, there are no words to describe what it feels like to drop somebody else's baby. Oh! <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. My name is Eric Gunderson. Good job. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Eric Gunderson, everyone.